Jerry Rice is the most prolific receiver in football history. His totals, 1,281 career receptions for 19,247 yards with 176 receiving touchdowns, all league records. However, the numbers compiled at his current position are decidedly less impressive. Adding those catches, yards, and touchdowns amounts to something close to zero. After 16 mostly glorious seasons with the San Francisco 49ers, the NFL's greatest receiver is virtually a rookie again with the Oakland Raiders. I'm learning splitting in, uh, zebra, and also the E position. So it's like three positions. And that's something I haven't done my entire career. It can be overwhelming, you know, and, and I think that uh, Jerry experienced a little bit of that, you know, in the first couple of weeks of training camp. You know, he went from playing one position his whole career to the other, other side. And, and uh, every time he would hear a play, you could see him thinking as a flanker and not as the X. It's more of a challenge now because, you know, in those uh, three different positions, I have to be ready for audibles uh, and I got to make uh, uh, adjustments. What we do now, if we're in the huddle together, which we are most of the time, I'll just tell him, even if he knows, I'll just, hey, corner route, you know, drag, drag route, you know, drive route, basic or whatever. Here's a guy that's caught 1,300 balls for 20,000 yards. He must be a quick study. You know, he's not uh, struggling that bad, let's put it that way. Rice has accelerated his learning curve, not only by keeping himself in tremendous shape at the age of 38, but he's also furiously applied his legendary work ethic, taking extra reps, staying late, starting early. He amazes me. You know, I, I made mention of this fact to a bunch of people at training camp. You know, we'd start our afternoon practice at 2.30, and, and uh, you know, there'd be one guy on the field at about 2.10, 2.15 every day, and it was number 80. And he'd be down there, and he'd be working on, you know, his uh, stance or his get-off or certain cuts. Well, his eyes are as big as silver dollars in the meeting room. He takes copious notes. He uh, does not like making a mistake. If you want to get better, you have to take that approach. Uh, you know, if I drop a pass in a, in, in, in a football game, uh, if I catch five and I drop one, I think about the one that I drop. <laughs> Rice conveys a new sense of excitement, one that hasn't been present in his final years in San Francisco, where the legendary receiver felt he was being phased out. Now he's a player reinvigorated by new opportunities with a legitimate Super Bowl contender. I'm running routes now that I haven't ran in about four years. Uh, you know, deep routes. You know, the comebacks, the digs, the shakes, the goals. Are you at age 38 and given some of the injuries you've been through the last couple of years, still physically capable of being a great player and putting up the kinds of numbers you did in the prime of your career? I'm starting to see uh, the old Jerry. You know, the way I run my route, the way the explosion after uh, catching the football. And I just feel like, you know, as a Niner, uh, not trying to bash the Niners or anything like that. I think they held me back. People look at his age and I think they don't think he's capable of doing what he's done. But I keep reminding him that George Foreman won the world championship in boxing at age 43. And Stockton and Malone are still a force on the pick and roll in Utah. And, I say bring back Mario Lemieux, bring back Michael Jordan, and leave Jerry Rice alone. He's going to play as long as he wants to. Offense come out of that game. Now, speaking of great rivalries, Jerry Rice is a Raider. And eight now in the first. For the Raiders, Gannett to Jerry Rice. William Belly up to the bar team. Hits Rice, but he holds on his first catch as the Raider. Sounds wrong. Jerry Rice. <laughs> Gannon Rice. 23 yards, Jerry caught eight on the day. I think the entire world basically got what they wanted today. You know, we it was some mistakes out there, but overall it was a hard, hard fault game. I didn't, I, I really didn't know the magnitude of this game until uh, until I ran on the football field and uh, very hostile crowd, <laughs> very hostile crowd, man. <laughs> but you know, this, uh, this Raider, uh, uh, Kansas City rivalry, just unbelievable. Francisco, I uh, always love you guys, okay? You guys are number one for me, okay? How weird has it been to watch the 49ers play and you not be there? It, it was tough. It was really tough because 
-hmm. You know, I never thought. You, you know, I think I did when it happened, you know, to Montana and all those guys that it was a possibility that it could happen to me. But in a way, you almost like you go into a little denial. You said, no, it's not going to happen. And I wanted to finish as, as a Niner. And I can't, I couldn't watch. Basically, I couldn't watch. I know the philosophy of the 49ers over the years for the star players was catch them as they start to come down and cut them off. How do you feel about that philosophy? How do you feel looking back at the 49ers and their, their, the way that they handled those kind of things, even not even you, yourself, just others? You know, it's no animosity, but, you know, I feel when a, when a player goes out and sacrifices like that, give everything, lay everything on the line for the organization, uh, he should be treated a different way. Sometimes, you know, like I said, things happen for a reason, Steve. This might be better for me. This, yeah. this gave me a chance to rejuvenate myself all over again. Tell people, like, they don't understand he's done everything that you can ever do. Why? Why? I think the reason why is because of the love of it. It's still inside me. And this is a situation where I cannot retire and walk away and then say, okay, I made a mistake. I'm coming back now. I need to get all of this out of my system. The last three or four years, uh, it was a waste for me because, you know, the team was going in a different direction. Uh, because of my injury, uh, you know, they felt like I couldn't do some of the things that I was capable of doing. Now, I'm running digs. I'm running comebacks. I'm running shakes. I'm running goals. And you talking about, you talking about this 39-year-old you know, really raging downfield, running goes, running by people. Just by the look on your face makes me want to throw you a dig, too. <laughs> <laughs> throw me a go. <laughs> oh, man, nothing's easier than throwing yeah. you a dig or a go. Silver and black, greater nation. the whole town, baby. When we played an exhibition a couple years ago, we came over here for the first time in a long time. And it was, it was, it was crazy. And it was like, you didn't feel that you, you were in danger. But it was, a little, it was a little crazy. Uh, now yeah. I understand that, like, yeah. they are your people. Tell me about that transformation. It's, it's a whole different crowd, man. The thing is, they want to win. Yeah. And the silver and black, it's beautiful on me, man. It, it looks real good. I look know, at you, it. You yeah. do love the color. You know, yeah. I have, you know, come on, Steve. Always, you know, from, from the bay, you know, across the bay, you have always, now, I have always admired the silver and black. I, I just the like color the color scheme. Yeah. Just as a fashion statement. Yeah. It, it does, you know, so, want to make me look, yeah. I look a little plump in the, in the red and gold. Maybe it would have made me look thinner. That's what I'm saying. I could, yeah, you know, yeah. don't go there. Don't yeah, go you there. know what, now, I think you would have looked great in that silver <laughs> and black, man. Well, when Rich gets hurt, when you let came me know. Close. Let me know. One of the favorite touchdowns that I ever threw you was against the Raiders on Monday night that broke the record because it was one of the typical yeah. throws I made. It really it was kind of crappy and behind, <laughs> and kind of behind like, you. I wouldn't say that. But it was behind you and you made it play and you went for the touchdown. You put the ball up there. You gave me an opportunity. But, you know, I've been taught over the years to go up and attack the ball at its highest peak. And I did. And we went down, went down yeah, in we history. <laughs> And the Raiders. Will somebody tell Jerry Rice he's 38 years old? First quarter, no score. Rich Gannon finds Jay Rice. Quick post. I see you play a first touchdown as a Raider. At least one catch in 228 straight games. Rice wasn't done. Still in the first half. Gannon to Rice. Quick slant. Kennel Brother gets some. 189 career touchdowns. Dallas going to hit you. Here's 16 yards. Then Gannon, Jerry Rice. Jerry Carbonese will certainly be using soon. Complete to Brown, then Gannon, plenty of time, Jerry Rice, touchdown, 7-0, Well, the Raiders took the 7-0 lead, Rich Gannon hitting Jerry Rice, 5-yard. Rich Gannon recorded 25 completions, 4 touchdowns, and over 300 yards. Seventeen-year veteran Jerry Rice, the NFL's all-time leading receiver, caught three touchdown passes in this 83rd Western Division battle between the Raiders and Chargers. Did he 
taking him to the end zone. So the Raiders in control, 14 to three, and then Gannon to right. And he does this so well. The little 10 yard play turned into 34 yards. In the ball time, Rich Gannon. Now coming from behind it, Jerry Rice. First down to the 43. Gannon, time, steps up, looks short, throws long, right. Can't play anymore. Down to the 10-yard line. Can the Raiders tie it? Gannon to Rice. Touchdown. We're tied at 31. We're going to oh. Jerry Rice's touchdown was part of a scoring avalanche that had the Raiders ahead near the game's end. And Jerry Rice scored the go-ahead touchdown. And in back, steps up, throws deep. Rice wide open, got it! Touchdown, Jerry Rice! Spring Lavernius calls to the end zone. Raiders get a field goal at 7-3 on third and six. Rich Gannon to Jerry Rice. Great catch, 16 yards. Same drive. Has there ever been a better receiver than Jerry Rice? Of course not. In his 24th playoff game, but first as a non-niner, he caught nine for almost 200 yards and became the oldest player ever to score a postseason touchdown in the NFL. Old Jerry Rice? I don't think it's accurate. I'm just like a little kid. I'm still having fun, you know. Uh, when, it, when everything is on the line, uh, you know, I want the ball. Tim Brown, you know, he feels the same way. And I think we uh, just go out there and, and we play hard and we try to make plays. Whether it's a cold ball or a wet ball or a hot ball, you got to make plays. And uh, it's going to be a test to our mental toughness. You look at Rice's all-time records, 185 touchdowns. He's off the chart when it comes to records. Garner is out as a wide receiver in a four-wide set. And Jerry Rice makes the grab up to the 34-yard line from Rich Gannon. Four-man rush on Gannon. Again, over the middle. Again, it's Jerry Rice. Back to four wides. Underneath for a very short game. Now Charlie Garner, the single setback. And they come out winging it again. Rice with his fourth catch. Here comes the tenth straight pass. Complete down to the five. And that was Jerry Rice again. His fifth catch. On the left side of the formation. No one in the backfield. What a catch by Rice. Dragged down by Ferrier. Six grabs already. Yes, he did. Third and two. Gannon a throw again. Rice bobbles, has the first down dive to the 42. He has 824 catches since he turned 30. Brown and Rice in a stack to the near side. And they throw under to Jerry Rice to the 29. From practice a rep, Jerry Rice said Bill may control that, but he practices hard every day. He doesn't take time off. He doesn't feel comfortable or confident if he doesn't run through every route against every defense. He wants to take all the reps in practice. You can see it paying off tonight. Eight catches, 53 yards. Susie had seven of those in the first pass to run for the Raiders. This will be 35, and Jerry Rice to the 46-yard line, first down. If you're a young wide receiver who wants to become the best ever, why don't you chase Jerry Rice? Here's all you have to do. Get to the NFL, make 65 catches a year for 20 years. That's a 1,300. You're only 75 behind Jerry Rice. 1,000 yards a year for 20 years. That's 20,000 yards. You're only 482 behind Jerry Rice. And nine touchdown catches a year for 20 years. That's 180. You're only five behind Jerry Rice. And that doesn't count what he's going to do the rest of this year. Short set. Rice to the 32. He's already completed a career-high 36 passes in this game. Looking for 37 and gets it. Jerry Rice to the 14-yard line, his 11th catch of the night. These are not third and short. Here comes Jerry Rice. Watch this. He continues his route all the way across. He avoids the linebacker, Gilden, and makes the play for a first down. But look at him. Concentration on the ball. Lee Flowers has no, really no chance. And a perfect throw by Rich Gannon. Tyrone Wheatley in motion again in empty backfield.
unbelievable. And look how perfectly Rich Gannon puts it. Catches Jerry in stride. Splits the zone of the Titans. And it's just... We won't see it forever, folks. Enjoy it while we can. He's going to turn 40 in just a couple of weeks. And <laughs> they had about three or four to climb. That'll sour uh, coaching staff. There's a double reverse, and it winds up with Rice, and he wants to throw a pass. Instead, he pulls it down and runs it, and gains about eight yards. working against the rookie from Wisconsin, Mike Eccles. The black hole down there in front of the Raiders faithful. What a perfectly thrown ball by, by Rich Gannon. And third down, long three. And there's the throw sidearm complete to Rice. And Rice, that almost is going to get him the new lead for all-time yards from scrimmage. He's out to the 49-yard line. Five catches. Today. At first glance, this looks like a one-hander, and oh. it is. <laughs> oh, a left-handed stab by the great Jerry Rice. Virtuoso. Whoop. Rare it is. Wow. How tough is that for Sermon to try to defend? Peter Sermon... Uh...